to move now hey. to, prof to Professor Dave. And um, mm. and uh, let's see, I need to keep everybody on, on mute so we can do this properly. So one of the things I like to introduce to our community is education and ideas. And Professor Dave is a real educator at the university level. He's been teaching entrepreneurship. Today, he's going to give us another short little presentation, things that we might want to think about, and there'll be an opportunity for a short Q&A afterwards. So if any of you would like to stick around, that would be fantastic. For those of you who can't, who can't for whatever reason, I just want to say Women's Founder Night was fantastic. I think this was one of the best events we've ever done, and I look forward to doing this again every four weeks. I'm so happy we had so many women founders to fill up an entire night. This was just this was just epic, and I'm really pleased. So, uh, Professor Dave, you're up next. Thanks, Mark. Um, yeah, this is a this is hard to follow. Uh, <laughs> um, I, as I've I've mentioned in chat a couple of times, uh, uh, the women tonight have been amazing. Um, just it's like if if this has been like the the pitches like all around i wouldn't have needed to give the lesson last week on how to pitch um so uh, as i said this this has been really great um i'm going to try and go really quick i know it's getting late um i do like to cheat and use uh some slides cuz i don't know i just uh, uh, as a professor for so long i can't help it uh, anyway, so um, I'm Professor Dave. Um, I've been teaching entrepreneurship for 20 years. Um, you can connect with me. I'll put stuff in uh, chat. Uh, but tonight, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, competitors. Um, preface, I come at things from a very different perspective than most people. So you'll get uh, a very different perspective. Um, it's not going to be necessarily what investors are looking for, but it's what I believe from research and teaching and all that um, that I think is important. Uh, so, first, competitive analysis. The 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 goal of it is to find your market positioning. So your 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 goal here is to figure out where is it you fit in the market. It's not to see what others are doing and you know say how you were better it is a, a point but that's not the goal the goal is to find your positioning the big thing that i pitch that's different than what most people will say about competition is don't use the word competition <laughs> use the word alternatives one thing i see all the time when people say I talk about their competition. They talk about other companies that are like them. But think about it in terms of what it is you are competing for. You're competing for customers. Customers don't care what your company looks like, how it's structured, all that kind of stuff. What they care about is what is the benefit they're getting from buying what you're selling. So think about what you sell from the customer's perspective. If you take nothing else from what I say today, uh, take that. Competition is the wrong word. Use the word alternatives. Yes, when you do your pitches, use the word competition because that's what the investors and everybody will expect, but think about it as alternatives. That is, your competition is whatever the customer has as a choice to meet the need of whatever it is you're trying to fulfill. All their choices. That includes not doing it, doing it themselves. Uh, I've used examples when I was teaching of like Uber, the competition is not rental cars. Uh, the competition is other ways to get from point A to point B in a city. So Uber's competition is walking, cars, um, you know, a bus, public transportation, et cetera, right? Those are the actual alternatives. So understanding what it is that you're selling, the, the primary benefit, 
will help you then figure out your customers, uh, your competition, and vice versa. So um, I like, uh, I've, I've used this last week, keep it super simple. When you're competing in a marketplace, you only have to be better at one thing that matters to enough customers. Enough customers means that you have enough people that are willing to pay you a premium for what you sell that'll keep cash flow coming in so that you're staying in business. It's just gotta be one thing. You don't need and shouldn't try to capture the entire market. Nobody starts out with the entire market, okay? You can work on that later, but start with where you have your biggest strength. So just be better at one thing that matters to customers. And those people who care the most about that one thing are going to buy from you. Um, so I'm really um, a fan of Blue Ocean Strategy. Uh, I'm not going to get into it. You can read about it online. Um, but one of the things that they have is uh, they call the Strategy Canvas. Um, if you go to like HubSpot, I was looking at that earlier just to see what's out there. Um, they have their competition scorecard. It's basically the same thing. The basic idea here is that you look at what are the various different benefits of products that are similar to or services that are similar to yours, and then rate them on a scale. And the scale should be something objective. Um, as much as you can and find that one thing that you are better at. And don't try to fool yourself and everybody else and say you're better at everything. Nobody will believe that, right? There's always compromise, right? To be better at one thing, you're not gonna be so good at other things. So that's, so I, I recommend using Blue Ocean Strategy, using the Strategy Canvas, uh, and, and the benefit of that is it'll help you trim away some of the excess that you have, because that's one of the big problems that, that founders have, especially from a technical background. It's like, oh, we can add this and we can add that and we can add this and we can add that. And oh, somebody might want to buy this and somebody might want to buy that. And all of a sudden you have a monstrosity that's going to cost you too much and nobody's going to buy. That's why I like Keep it super simple. Do one thing better. And then expand later, right? Uh, so uh, I don't have the links in here, but you can search for it online. Blue Ocean Strategy, uh, Strategy Canvas, or go to HubSpot and look. You can download 10 free templates for uh, competitor analysis. One of them is a scorecard. Um, and it basically just will help you identify. Um, and and that's it. I think I kept it under five minutes. Um, like I said, if anything you take away from tonight, competition, think about it from a customer perspective. Think about it, um, a, a, an analogy might be thinking about it as um, animals mating, right? The, the men are gonna be doing whatever they can to attract the, the female. Right, the focus is on the female, not on the other males. Right, what I see very often in business and entrepreneurs is the focus on the other males, not on what you're trying to get, which is the customer. So, okay, there we go. Anybody have any comments on Professor Dave's uh, suggestions? Awesome, thank you. Anybody else? Very helpful. Much appreciated. Thanks, Professor Dave. Great job, Mark. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Oh, Thank okay. You. Thank you. Great advice. Thank, Thank you. you. That was fantastic. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Thank all you. All right. So I would just love it if um, all the women who are still here would turn their cameras back on for one moment and, and wave so I can just get everybody's waving into the system here recorded and maybe use some of this in the future for advertising and promotions especially now for women uh, founders night i hope we're going to be able to do this again in four weeks
please come back. Next week is just an open to everybody event. And then two weeks from now is Life Sciences. And if you're a Life Science founder, please come back for that event and tell your friends about what we're doing. And please help everybody in our community. This is a networking event, networking community. You all are awesome. It was a, it was amazing to hear all these founders tonight. Thank you all. Um, Have a great um, week. We'll see you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you all. Thank you, everybody. Everyone. Can I send my picture back to you? Thank you.